calculate the sum of the digits of this number okay so this if you look at this and you're like oh my goodness what am I gonna do it is perfectly normal I'm looking at this now and I'm also like hmm how are we gonna do this one um, but what I have sort of oof, this is actually really weird okay so what I have identified in the past is that it usually helps to get these two numbers to be the same so we could do something like 2 to the 2015 times by 5 to the 2015 times by 5 to the fourth all right, so there is this rule, guys, that you must remember that if these two numbers are the same, then you can actually just write this as like the following. You can just write it like that. It's almost like if you have um, a, b to the power of 3, we know that that can become a3, b3. But now what we did is we just took this one and we just wrote it backwards, okay? And that's what I did here. See that these two are the same, just like these two are the same, so then you can just do it backwards. Okay, now that just becomes 10 to the power of 2015, and then 5 to the 4. Now look at this. If I say 10 to the power of 2, what does that mean? It means 10 times 10, which is 100. If I say 10 to the power of 3, it just means 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. So if I say 10 to the power of 4, it's just 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So it's just going to be 10,000. So we're just adding on a 0 each time. So imagine 10 to the power of 2015. Well, that's going to be 2015 tens that you multiply together. But the answer will probably just be a 1 in the front. Or it'll definitely be a 1 in the front. And then there'll just be like loads. 2015, uh, there'll be 2015 zeros. So let's just say that again. If we have 10 to the power of 2015, then that's just going to be um, a 1. And then there's just going to be... Um, 2015 zeros okay so okay and then so that's fine and then the number 5 to the 4 well 5 to the 4 if you had to just work that out on your calculator that gives 625 okay so if we had to go if we had to then go multiply all of this together so if this is 625 and let's just say this number was a thousand or ten thousand doesn't really matter when you multiply this it's just going to stay 625, but then you're just going to keep adding on like a like loads and loads and loads of zeros. But they want us to calculate the sum of the digits. So they just want us to add these numbers together. So it doesn't matter how many zeros you add, because the planet where I'm from, if you add zero, it doesn't change anything. So we actually just need to go add the 6 and the 2 and the 5. So we can just say um, 6 plus 2 plus 5. This was just an example, by the way. Um, it would be a number that's got 2,015 zeros. Um, but if you say 6 plus 2 plus 5, that's just going to give you 13. 